So here it comes, Project Elixir version 3.11 based on August security patch and of course based on Android 13. Might be the last update before Android 14. Android 14 is coming out very very soon. Maybe next month we are getting Android 14 based custom rooms. So this might be the last update of Project Elixir based on Android 13. But let's see if they still brings you Android 13 update for a few more months, maybe two or three months at least. But what's included with this new version? What are the changes or everything? We're going to talk about in this video so stay tuned firstly the launcher is finally reverted back to the launcher 3 in the previous update which was version 3.10 which was having the july security patch the launcher was changed to this pixel launcher i guess because i tried that build too i made a video on that one also you can go and check it out but with this new version finally the launcher 3 is back which means it's having some great features where you can disable the at a glance widget you have the option to customize some options like we have the option to add some things to the home screen you have the option for app drawer customizations where you have the option for app search bar icon labels which you can hide or unhide and there are many more things which you get to with default launcher this is one of the best launchers and available in many custom rooms including this project elixir also if you're able to notice the switches are also now looking like different here it's not inspired from android 13 right now i guess it was included with the previous developer previews with android 13 or maybe even Android 12. If you move on the quick settings panel, here if you're able to notice the edit icon is bit changed. It's bit changed, not a big change here. But you can see the edit icon is having the round circle behind it and this is not that bad. It's not a major change although, but because it is included there, so I just wanted to let you know. Other than else, the quick settings panel is in light mode and Project Elixir always brings you this one. So that's interesting. And also the power menu is also in light mode. In some custom rooms, I found that uh, other things are in light mode. The power menu is still in dark mode. But in this case, the power menu is also is in light mode. The settings UI is also card style UI and one of the main highlights of Project Elixir always almost every version brings you this kind of UI in settings. You have the card style UI which looks quite good, quite interesting. If you're a fan of card style UI then you might love this thing. You can't change that and that's one of the disadvantages but that's of course user specific. In security options, app log is also there. I guess in Pixel OS last version, the app log was not included, but in this one, app locker is there. And also, you can hide that app from that, you can hide that particular app from the launcher without enabling the protection. This is one of the best features, and I personally love this feature because if you want to hide that app from the launcher, why you want to protect that? And there are some certain exceptions there but this is what we have as you can see we have battery options the battery graph is also AOSP styled not google styled so that's interesting other options are basically same battery saver battery manager and battery optimizations just the things are actually arranged according to that but basically almost everything is same like in this one the battery stats etc including this one by the way what we found here is in this customization section the ui is almost same because you can see theming options are there lock screen status bar quick settings gestures miscellaneous one thing is some of the features are not available in the free version like the voltivo wi-fi icons customization is not present here so if you are looking that that feature is not present here that's completely fine because if you are using the free version like me then this feature is not present for you some options include advanced restart because that's of course necessary ignore window secure flags is also present less boring heads up is also there in call vibration options are also there for the gamers you have the higher fps option is also present which you have to enable from settings if you want to and the game space i guess it was available in rising os previously i'm not sure although i don't play games but i think so this was present in rising os but now it's available here too in the quick settings panel, some customizations are included here. You have the option to customize the quick setting tiles. For example, if I want to use a cyberpunk tiles like this one, the quick settings panel is now themed to this one. You also have the option to customize the brightness slider. We have the three extra styles options available. As expectedly, we have around 75 header images which were available previously too. So this is nothing new, but you have to customize the opacity, image fade level, image height, everything you have to customize according to your own so quick settings panel customizations at least these are not free these are at least present here so that's that's completely fine that's that's absolutely okay 
including this one if i move on to the quick settings image headers or etc almost same kind of things available here and there some customizations theming options so this is what we have and these were things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install link is available in the description thanks for watching and goodbye